Oh, here we go. Illegal street race. We're going to go ahead and respond to that. Uh, looks like they're going southbound right now. They're going to be coming out on this main road. The Vagos territory. Making a left. Drift. Nope. Not, no drift. All right. Here's one of them. We're going to call local air support. Here's one of them right here. Go ahead and run this guy's plate. Uh, that didn't really work. Let's run his plate. There we go. So we can get this guy's name. We're going to call air support just so we can uh, the, uh, go after the one the helicopter doesn't. So the helicopter can keep an eye on them. We'll try to arrest both of these guys if we can do this properly. The only thing is we got to find out which one this helicopter is going to actually go after. So Paul White is the owner of that ballista. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Paul White. Paul White. Paul White. Paul White. Ballista. Just a little way I'm going to try to start remembering names and stuff like that. I'm terrible with names and pronouncing names and reading names, so I'm going to try my best to turn that around and make it a little bit better. Uh, we're running the comment right now. Matthew Jefferson. Matthew Jefferson in the comments. So Paul White and Matthew Jefferson. We do have a air unit here. Let's go ahead and try to... What we're going to do is we're going to get in front of the... We're going to... Hmm. Let's try to get out. Try to slow down here and see which one this helicopter is going to stick with. Looks like this helicopter is going to stick with this ballista. So we're going to go ahead and go after Matthew Jefferson and the... Whoa, look. The, uh, the little tug thing. Little dock tug or whatever they call it. I don't know. That sounds weird. Dock tug. Sounds like a weird thing. Okay. So this is Matthew Jefferson. The Black Comet. We are going to stick with him just because it seems to be the helicopter is going to stay with that ballista, which is good. Holy shit, this guy took off. And he's going to hit a wall. Oh, he's going to flip. He's going to flip. Get out, get out, get out. Come here. No, 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 no. You're not running. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. God, I really hope that ballista doesn't come over here. I feel like it's also going to head this way and we're going to get wrecked, but apparently not. All right, let's get go ahead and put him in the back of the car. Since that helicopter is following that guy, we'll kind of let him think that he's gotten away. Even though the helicopter flies so low that there's no way you can think that you've gotten away from it. Please get in. All right, so we'll let him, we'll get him in. I want to search his, well, let's search his name real quick. Uh... Matthew Jefferson. Whoops. Matthew Jefferson. All right, so his we're searching his name, and while we wait for that, uh, he is valid and has no warrants. That was a really quick search. We're going to try to flip his car back so we can search it. Come on. On the wheels. Get away from the wall. Away from the wall. Oh, God, we're going to send his car over there. There goes his door. Hope he didn't want that. All right, let's go ahead and try to... Can we... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and search his vehicle. See if we can... So as of right now, it's just illegal street racing. He was valid. He had no warrants. Uh, we're going to search to see if there's anything. Helicopter is still calling in the location of the other guy, which is good. So we can keep uh, doing our business here. I wish I had more backup units to kind of take care of this. Multiplayer, I really, I hope multiplayer becomes a thing one day because it would be so nice to have, you know, another Code Zero member going after that other guy while I do this. A bloody baseball bat and a burnt spoon. That's not good for you, Matthew. Oh, you know what I should have done? Shit, I didn't even think about it. Okay, I'm going to call for a prisoner transport while I'm here. We'll have a prisoner transport on the way. And uh, while that happens, we'll, con we'll search the engine compartment. So, mm, a bloody baseball bat, that'll be tested, I guess, to see what's actually going on there. Call for a tow truck for his vehicle. We're in a weird spot, so we'll see if any of these things can actually get here. Hey, look, a tow truck. And he's going to go the wrong way. Nope, doing a U-turn. Okay. So we'll wait. Once these two people get here, we will then go ahead and head out and go after that ballista, which appears to be just kind of driving around Simeon's dock. So Simeon's dock. Dock, I said. Not anything else. <laughs> so tow truck, 
Just picked up the vehicle. We'll wait till the prisoner transport unit gets over here. And once that happens, we'll um, head over to that blister. Dude. Okay, prisoner transport's here. They're putting him in the van now. Just going to make sure that he's actually going to get in. Once he's in, I'm going to go ahead and take off. And he is in. Doors closed. All right, let's go ahead and head after that ballista. One driver down. We got uh, Mr. White. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Paul White in the ballista. So we'll go ahead and try to catch up to Paul. Oh, my God. He appears to just kind of be doing circles around here. Uh, yeah, let's go up and around. He appears just to be down here doing circles, so he should be relatively easy to catch. He's also in a ballista compact, so something tells me he's not the fastest person out there. Good thing I called in that helicopter, though. At least I kind of worked out a little bit of a tactic there, I guess. Hey, they are going to raise him. So that way we know if in the future if we want to catch both of these guys, we're going to have to call the helicopter in pretty much immediately. Here he is. All right, he's getting out. Foot chase. Gonna get the taser ready. Got him. Stop running. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Get down. The helicopter's getting mad. He's giving up. All right, Paul White. I'm gonna place you under arrest. So, illegal street racing, running from the police. We'll search his vehicle as well and see if he has any uh, skeletons in his closet, a.k.a. any uh, anything in his car that we need to be concerned about. So we'll go ahead and place him in the back of this vehicle. All right, Paul, any minute. I'm going to move my vehicle just a little bit away. We'll run his name, too, real quick before we search his vehicle. Uh, nope. Paul White. All right, let's go ahead. He's valid, has no warrants. While we search his vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and call the prisoner transport now. So we will search his vehicle. Let's go ahead and see what's inside this. Probably some either nothing or some really crazy shit. Crystal meth and bath salts. Okay. That's not good for the first search attempt. Transport has arrived. What else have we found? Uh, nothing of interest on the passenger side. I just decided to fall on my face. Don't know what that was about. We will go ahead and take that call for the Grand Theft Auto as we just finish doing what we're doing here. Package drugs. So bath salts, crystal meth, package drugs. And what are we going to find in the engine compartment? VTAC, bro. That's what we're going to find in the engine compartment. Nothing. Exactly. I said VTAC. Ooh, Honda. Uh, I'm just kidding. I really... Whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're calling a tow truck for his... Uh, his uh, Ballista Compact. Once the tow truck comes here and picks up the vehicle, he's already been picked up. Tow truck is already on the scene. I'm glad this is a really easy spot to clear things out. And we're going to go ahead and respond to the call of a Grand Theft Auto, which is right here in the dock. So, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. That was actually a really good call. I'm glad we got both of them. Both going to jail. One... Is a little one could be in a lot more trouble than the other. Uh, Matthew Jefferson with his uh, bloody baseball bat—that's human blood. He's gonna have like, some explaining to do. But uh, Paul White has a lot of drugs on him, so as of right now, he's getting the brunt of it. So we'll see. Damn, this is going. Was this a rapid? No, not a rapid. Uh, yeah, yeah, the four GT. I can't remember what they call him in the game. Uh, bullet. That's right. I keep wanting to call him something GT, and it brings me away from Bullet. That's my problem with these cars, because it's a Ford GT, but I would, I like, Bullet GT, I kind of wish they would have, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to avoid using GT. All right, Gene Woods. Uh, yeah, Gene, Genie, Genie Woods? Yeah. Genie Woods, that's how I'd say that name. Genie Woods. Okay, so, uh, Genie Woods, there was no flags on the vehicle or anything, uh, oh god, oh god, but this vehicle is stolen, alright, this person, they're actually able to control this car in the, uh, 
in the rain, which is pretty impressive. But we're gonna call for some. We're gonna call for some backup units. But it appears that they kind of want to drive a little slow, so maybe we can pin them in here. Let's hope this box. This box truck needs to stop. Because if it does, then I can pin them in. There we go. There we go. There we go. Or no. Get out. 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 Get out. Thank you, you Chevy Volt, for helping me. Look at this. Looks like Michael's wife. All right, get down on the ground. Oh, my God, the car looks so good out of focus like that. That looks amazing. Okay, we're going to place Jeannie Woods under arrest for uh, possession of stolen property, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Larceny. Maybe I'm not really sure. I am not a cop, <laughs> but she's uh, she's fucked. She's she's not gonna have a good day. And before we call prisoner transport and all that, again we'll search the name. Jeannie Woods. All right. Wait for that information to get back. So she is driving on a suspended license, which is not good. We're gonna call for. A, ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. We're gonna call for a prisoner transport. I just did something to myself and apologized for it. That was that was really good. That was great. I'm a smart person. Nothing of interest there. Okay. Oh, my arm is really itchy. Um, nothing of interest. Let's go ahead and search the the trunk. Of this vehicle. Then we'll search the engine compartment. See if we can find... There's got to be something... Cr nothing. Did you hide something in the engine? Please. Please find something in the engine. Prisoner transport's going the wrong way. And... Nothing. Nothing in the vehicle. Damn it, Genie. Alright, well, we're going to call a tow truck for this vehicle. We'll wait for the prisoner transport to do its U-turn after driving away the fuck over there. <laughs> and then we'll head back out and get some more calls. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Get up, please. Oh, come on, get out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought I was going to suffocate to death under there, and that would have sucked. Oh, what the heck was that about, dude? God. Damn. That was not cool at all. Well, this scene is clear. I need to help myself real quick. We are going to take that call of a hold up. Man, we are getting calls like rapid fire. We are just getting rapid fire calls today. So that's good, though, because there's no downtime. Sometimes there's some downtime between calls, so can get kind of boring, but today we're getting call after call after call after call, which is really good. So we got calls of a holdup. Going to be at this uh, liquor store down the street here. We're going to try to get there as soon as we can. If people want to get out of our way. All right, let's go ahead and run through this intersection at super high rates of speed. And uh, we'll get to this. Whoop. Oh, shit. Shots fired. All right, shooting them. Shooting him. Shooting him. He's down. All right. We're going to clear it. Clear the building. He's down. Clear up front. Clear behind the counter. He killed the, uh, the clerk. Clear in the back. Holy shit. That was a little more intense than the... Uh... No, I just called the tow truck. What the fuck is a tow truck going to do? Tow truck's going to come over here and be like, I don't even... I don't know. Oops, sorry. I'm just going to move your body. Pretty sure that's not messing up with... Oh, that's kind of where you were originally. That didn't mess up evidence too much. I'm assuming this is his vehicle here. So uh, we're going to run a plate check on it. And I'm assuming that's... I mean, why else would this vehicle be parked here like it is? I'm assuming that's his. So we'll go ahead and run his name real quick. See what's going on. See what comes back on that plate. Uh, Sarah Palin. Okay. Seems legit. Sarah Palin apparently uh, forgot her vehicle. It's not going to let me run it. Alright, I hate when it does that. Let's go ahead and search it. We'll just go ahead and connect it to this guy since... I mean, come on. This is very suspiciously parked in the middle of the road. Looks like it's ready for a getaway. While it happens to be... A call of a holdup. So, 
If I was a cop in real life, this car would be on my shit list, and I would definitely find out who Sarah Palin was. <laughs> and, uh, go from there. Uh, a box of cough syrup. So this person had a cold. You know, they were coughing. Well, the rain, you know, all the rain out here makes a lot of sense. Why, what else? Ketamine, which uh, apparently is like, um, you guys tweeted me and told me about it. I, some weird, just drugs. I don't know. It's just some weird shit. Don't do drugs. Oh, huh? vehicle fixed. Oh, nice. All right, so we got calls of a GPS tracker for a stolen vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and head in the direction of this stolen vehicle and try to track it down. 